Okay, so you're good, ready? Oh, how's it going? It's good, how are you? Okay. All right, so today we're gonna do mind lift neurofeedback. I'm gonna start by doing an assessment of your brain waves. I'm gonna have you put this over your ears. You can see that there's these metal pieces each here. They're gonna read your brain waves in real time. I'm gonna move this electrode around your head to get a baseline assessment of the way your brain's working to get kind of an overall view of what's going on. And then I can come up with a protocol that will help you know, whatever is not working optimally, it can help bring it to optimal brain activity. So I'm gonna have you put this on and make sure it fits kind of right behind your ears. Like this? Yeah, let me just get some of your hair out of there. Okay. Comfortable? Yeah. You're like, not really? <laughs> I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> Let's see. Perfect. So I'm gonna plug this in and I'm gonna put conductive paste on it. That's gonna help read the brainwave activities so we can read what's going on. There will be a little residue on your head, so if you have any plans later today, you might need to shower. I'm gonna plug this into the headset. Sounds good. I can't get it plugged out, that's okay. So I'm gonna start with the center of your head right here, and then I'll move it around to different spots on your head so we can get kind of an overall view of what's going on. So now that that electrode is placed, I'm gonna have you do this assessment. Basically, it's gonna have you do this eyes closed and then eyes open to get kind of an assessment of what's going on in both states. And then we'll move it around to different areas and do the same thing. Okay, sounds good. Now eyes closed. So that was the last piece of the assessment. I'm gonna take a look at what's going on and then I will create a protocol based on what I saw in your brain. What I'm seeing here is you have a little bit of slower activity here in the front, which sometimes can happen if someone's either daydreams a lot, kind of gets stuck in their thoughts. You have kind of an overactive theta, like these slower brain waves. So kind of correlated with inattention and maybe some difficulty focusing, staying kind of alert and awake. What I'm seeing here is maybe a little overactivity. I don't know if you have anxiousness or just kind of racing thoughts, but there's definitely a little bit of overactivity in this frontal area. All right, so basically you'll choose one of the games on the app. You can also do this with video, but today we'll start with the games that are a little more engaging. It'll respond to what your brain's doing in real time. It's gonna be actively reading your brain waves and then based on the assessment that we did, providing visual and auditory feedback. Okay, cool. sounds good. Go ahead and yeah, select whatever okay. game looks good to you. Cool, how was that? That was so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty easy. Now that you've finished the game, what I saw your brain was definitely doing what it was supposed to do. It's basically just like going to the gym for your brain. So the more you do it, the more your brain will learn to kind of make the changes to see the optimal brain function. And then over time, after we do, you know, 10 or so sessions, we would do another assessment and see if it's actually moving in the direction we want, if there's actually improvements. Do you have any questions? Yeah, what are some things that I can do outside of this training exercise that I can do to keep going with these results that we're looking for? Because we showed some, you know, maybe some issues with attention, focus, planning, I think for you it would be good to work on, yeah, like short kind of task-based things where you can focus for, depending on how long you're able to sustain focus right now, I think doing short things where you're really trying to kind of remain focused and doing that in chunks and kind of improving or increasing the amount of time you spend doing that. The other thing is mindfulness, because it really helps, like it does seem that maybe you have some kind of daydreaming or your mind can wander. And even though mindfulness is kind of allowing you to just, you know, be in the present moment, it does help kind of regulate some of these brain waves. Would I use this kind of brain scan in tandem with therapy or what, like, who is this best suited for? Yeah, I think some people do either. Some people do it after therapy to kind of enhance the neural integration that was happening in the therapy session. Some people do it as a standalone service if they feel kind of like they've done the talk therapy, but they're still not getting what they want from their brain. I think mm -hmm. people with ADHD, maybe they don't feel like they need to talk things out. But they kind of want to train the parts of their brain that aren't working, but it's really person to person, depending on your time, your availability, but also kind of how fast you want results and also what's going on. If you're feeling uncomfortable, definitely I think therapy can be a helpful add-on in conjunction with neurofeedback. Okay, cool. Amazing. Thank you so much. Awesome. Cool. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, it was great. It was great. I don't know why for you I could not plug that thing.